Nearly one year after Donald Trump became president and promised to stop America's growing demand for autos built in Mexico, the numbers have not improved to his liking. In fact, they've gotten worse. New data show the number of auto exports to the U.S. hit a record high in 2017. Phil LeBeau has more now on the surge in Mexican-made cars and trucks. The Mexican-made car and truck is still very much a staple of America's auto industry. In fact, the number of vehicles exported from Mexico to the U.S. jumped almost 10% last year, an all-time high of more than 2.3 million autos. What's behind the increase? America's growing appetite for SUVs like the Chevy Equinox and trucks like the Ram 1500 pickup. Through November of last year, Fiat Chrysler, which builds the Ram, and General Motors both saw huge spikes in exports from their plants in Mexico, while Ford was down almost 20 percent. That's because Ford primarily builds cars in Mexico, and their sales are down as more people look to buy bigger vehicles. For President Trump, the numbers show that his threats to slap a big border tax on Mexican-made vehicles has had a limited impact. Yes, Ford scrapped plans for a final assembly plant in Mexico after repeated attacks by the president. And several automakers, including the big three, have said they'll invest billions of dollars expanding auto plants here in the U.S. Still, Mexico's auto industry is only getting stronger. It exported a record 3.1 million vehicles last year, with three out of four coming north of the border. All of that could change if the Trump administration follows through on threats to alter or tear up the North American Free Trade Agreement, a move that could add thousands of dollars in taxes to vehicles built in Mexico. But until that happens, GM and other automakers will continue building south of the border. GM says that the demand for trucks and SUVs here in the United States is one reason why it continues building in Mexico. The plants here in the U.S. that also build those trucks and SUVs are running at capacity. So there's nowhere else to build those vehicles that are in demand except for also to build them in Mexico. Phil LeBeau, Nightly Business Report, Chicago.